Hello and a big welcome back to the Wheel Arda channel. Today I'm going to be making my first ever traditional Irish recipe and I'm going to be making an Irish stew. It's a real simple one pot stew and it's so so easy to make and it is really really delicious. I'm so excited about sharing this with you. Because, one, because it's my first ever Irish recipe and two, it's probably one of the best stews I've ever made. It's such a delicious melt in the mouth stew um, and it's cooked in one pot pot as well so there's just very little mess and it just bubbles away for a few hours in the stove and it is so 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 good. Um, I've actually made this recipe with lamb neck, traditionally it was made with mutton, it's quite difficult to get mutton here, probably could order it online or maybe get some from the butcher but um, it works really well with lamb neck. And you could also, if you didn't want to use lamb, you could also use uh, beef, you could use maybe beef shin, that would work really well in this recipe as well. Um, it's quite a similar kind of texture of meat when it's uh, stewed, so it would work really well in this recipe too. I love it with the lamb neck and the whole family really love this recipe. As I say, it was a real melt in the mouth stew. It was so delicious. So I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started on our traditional Irish stew. So for our traditional Irish stew we're going to need 2 tablespoons of salted butter, 4 medium onions sliced, 4 medium potatoes sliced, 2 tablespoons of parsley, 450 grams of lamb neck cut into medium sized cubes, 2-3 to three cups of stock and some salt and pepper. So to start this recipe, we're going to melt our butter into a large pan. So we're going to pop this pan into the oven. All the cooking is done in the oven. So my pan is on a low to medium heat. Um, I'm not gonna be doing any of the cooking for the stew on here. It is all done in the oven. So it does look like quite a lot of butter um, in the pan, but it does work really well and ensures that the stew doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So we're going to start this recipe by adding in our first layer. So we're going to add in half of our potatoes onto the bottom of the pan to cover up the bottom. Now I researched quite a few traditional Irish recipes for this Irish stew and there were different variations of layering up the stew. But I find that this version worked out the best, so I'm going to go with this version, but please feel free to experiment. You could also add in a few different layers of vegetables as well. Now, just make sure that you're seasoning each layer, so we want to get some salt and pepper on each layer, um, just a little bit so that we um, have enough seasoning right throughout the stew. So the second layer is going to be our onions and we're going to break those up so that they are all individually sliced and add those on as our second layer. So we're going to use half of our onions in total. And I've actually added in a sprinkle of parsley as well, halfway through my first layer of onions. You can use dried parsley, but I would recommend using um, fresh parsley if you can. So we're still on our first half of our onion quantity so don't put all your onions into this first layer because you're going to need them for the second layer and we're just going to then add on our meat so we're going to put our meat in all of our meat into this layer and you can see it is quite a fatty cut but i have removed any larger chunks of fat from the lamb neck so please remove any large pieces of fat but you want to keep all the um, marbled fat obviously in the meat it does create a really nice texture in this stew. So we're putting all of our meat in there and we just want to make sure that it is seasoned really well with salt and pepper as well. So our next layer is our second half of onions again, so we're going to put our onions on top of the beef here. So all of the remaining onions are going on here now, and again you just want to break them up a little bit. And 
and we're going to pop another sprinkle of parsley on. And we're going to finish off by putting on the rest of our potatoes so we want to cover up the whole top of this stew. Now I've said four onions and four potatoes and they were bo both of medium size but you might need a little bit more, you might need a little bit less depending on the size of your pan. So just go by the size of your pan and um, start out with four. You might need an extra one or two depending on the size of your potatoes and onions. So I'm again adding on some seasoning, salt and pepper to the top of these potatoes. Now this recipe is so, so basic. It's very close to the traditional recipes. You could add in extra layers of vegetables, carrots, maybe parsnip, and um, whatever you have available seasonally. You could also add in some sliced kale as well. I think that would work really good in here. Um, and we're just gonna finish off by adding in our stock. Now, again, the ingredients that I listed at the start of this video is just a guide. You might need a touch more, a touch less stock. So I've just put enough stock in so that it's just underneath the potato layer and I'm just flattening down the potatoes on the top. So you don't want to add too much stock in or it will end up too soupy. Um, you can check it halfway through the cooking process if you want to, but I find that if you add just enough to just under the potatoes, that works really, really well. So we're going to cook it at two and a half hours at 160 in a fan oven. And just at half an hour towards the end of the cooking time, we took this stew out and we removed the lid so that we could brown off the top nicely. And you can see the potatoes have cooked off really nice and brown and it just looks so, so delicious. All of the potatoes and onions and meat in the stew are all at melt in your mouth texture by this point. So if you leave it to cool just for a minute or so and then serve up two good helpings of this delicious stew. And I've served it up with some fresh vegetables. You can use whatever is seasonal to you or whatever is available in your freezer. I've just served up with some basic carrots and peas. And I just love the simplicity of this recipe. It is so, so simple and it's yet so, so delicious. It's the perfect meal for a cold day or a cold winter's day. So I hope you enjoyed making your Irish stew, I'm sure you'll agree, it is super delicious. Um, if you did take a picture, please feel free to tag me and I'll share it on my Instagram stories if you're on Instagram. Or feel free to email it to me if you want to as well, I love to see your foodie creations. Um, if you um, enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more traditional Irish recipes and traditional Scottish recipes on this channel then please feel free to click that subscribe button and if you click the little bell next to it you'll be notified of my new videos coming out in the future as well. I also have my free traditional Scottish cookbook available over my website and you can pop over and grab a copy there. You just have to pop in your email and it'll be sent straight to your inbox. So I really enjoyed making this recipe for you and I'm really going to look forward to sharing a sprinkle of Irish recipes again in the future. So take care and hope to see you all again soon. Lots of love. Bye bye.